Hi everyone, this is uh, Josh Kell and welcome back to Metroid Fusion. This will be part three and I'm just pretty much taking off from where I left off at this save room. Usually I'll record, oh well, usually I'll edit the video before I record the next part, but this time I just went straight back into it, so... Yeah, now this this is a pretty big one up, well, I suppose this is another place wall jumping comes in handy, huh? Yeah, this is a pretty big one. Now usually you'd think, oh, I can't get up here because I don't have a high jump yet. But actually, there is a thing. I don't know what to call these, they're things. <laughs> so we can get this missile pack here. That's another one you really won't want to miss, otherwise your end time will be a lot longer if you get 100%. So yeah, now we could, we're pretty much just going into the unknown. All the green areas are the areas that aren't listed on the map, so... Which... <laughs> Yeah, this area's green area is definitely the biggest. Lots of green area here. Um, hopefully I know where to go. I shouldn't not know where to go. I've done it enough, but... We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. So I just come down through here. Have to, you have to bomb these, which is annoying, because bombs actually take quite a while to explode in this game, but... There's no point to this room, even though it looks like there might be something there. There's not. It's a trap. Essentially, yeah, there's nothing over the right there either. Oh, I should know. I went furiously searching. Come here, you. There we go. Gee, to think I was wasting my time using super, um, missiles to try to kill these guys. Yeah, that blue one actually will always drop a red X. So, you'll want that. <laughs> There we go. Wait, what? He dropped a yellow. That's, f <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen him do that. Oh well. Yeah, and again, and again, don't miss this missile. Oh, I think that's like the last one. So, um... I'm not... I'm really not sure what's coming up. Um... No, I don't, I don't think we have to fight a boss. Well, of course we do. I'm, we haven't fought a boss here yet, have we? Right, right, it's that thing. <laughs> How could I forget? I figured we just get went straight up without fighting anything, but I completely forgot about the boss. Um, so you don't go through there. I think that's just a save. Uh, that's nothing either. That's lost like a dead end, that one. Wait. And that's got like a missile pack and something else there too, but you need the gravity suit to get the other thing. So what you want to do is come in here. Oh, well, well, by the, you need the gravity suit to get the other thing. Oh, that's just another thing on the list of things to get during the cleanup. Cleanup of items. Ah, uh, yeah, this, this is this is straightforward. Uh, you can block like that thing there later, but not now. And there's like nothing at all down there. That's dead end. No, I don't need to save savings for um chumps. <laughs> nah, not really. Chumps, chumps. Anyone can save. I saved before, so that makes me a chump by what I'm saying. I'm not really a chump. Oh, I wouldn't think I'm a chump. A chump. It's such a weird word. Anyway, yeah, you can come down here, which you wouldn't think to do. Oh, I should be using the charge beam to kill these, like I said before. Stop doing that one. Yeah, you can't actually hit him when he does, like, the no-eye blast thing. You use charge shots to kill him. Two hits. They always drop red X's, too. Yeah, so there's actually something over to the right there, but you can't get that until you've got the screw attack and the space jump. So this is a pretty weird little boss. He, he's pretty simple. He's not really gonna kill you. You gotta wait, you gotta wait till he does like a small jump like that and just like shoot his eye from below. So yeah, large jump, large jump, large jump, large jump, small jump. And oh, if he catches you like that, just drop bombs. So yeah, that's pretty much all to this boss. Um, you kill him pretty quick if you're not sure. And don't get caught like an idiot. I, I suppose if you're trying to power missiles into him, that happens. Yeah, that's him dead already. Can't really use... Yeah, so like I said before, even though the charge beam is stronger than regular missiles, Missiles are the only thing you can damage. These are uh, X shell things. 
So we got the high jump and jump ball. I don't know why it's calling it jump ball. So as you can see, we can actually jump quite high now. Which, um, is handy, I guess. <laughs> you didn't really need it in other Metroid games because the wall jump was overpowered in those games, but it's really not in this game, so the high jump's kind of necessary. Not that you could even skip it even if you wanted to. So, uh, yeah, coming back this way, in this room here, we won't be able to go back the way we came. Because something's gone on here. So what you've got to do is blow these up with a bomb. And this is actually our first encounter with the SAX and Oh, that music, that I, I was so scared. I was scared shitless when I first played this game. I'll just say that. The, the fear of not knowing when you're going to encounter the SAX is... What's in there? Oh, I know what will be in there. Now we'll come out of there later. <laughs> yeah, um... Every area except the... Uh, area... Well, area. What are they called? Sector. Every, every sector except for Sector 5, you go to twice. And Sector 5, you actually go to three times. <laughs> What took me so long to do that simple thing? So now we come up this way, which we couldn't do before because we didn't have high... Oh, I would assume it's because we didn't have high jump. And there's actually a secret in here. You can sort of actually see it. The more missiles, the merrier. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we bomb back out here. <laughs> that was close, almost fell down there. Bomb out of here, and I... Um... Yeah, we can get that now. You, you, uh, I suppose most people would get this one here during their cleanup, because you have to go this way anyway, but... So it's just a waste of time to go out of your way to get it now, I suppose, but... I'd rather just get it now, so I don't forget later. It's not that hard to get. It's just a simple missile pack. Missile tank? Oh, I've been calling them packs. It sounds way cooler. Oh, well. <laughs> Missile tank pack, pack tank. Oh, now I'm just saying whatever comes to my head. Oh, <laughs> I'm awful. This is bad commentary right here. Oh, what time is it? Time? No, we still have plenty of time. We can probably do another whole sector. That is not the way. Yeah, there's actually a power up that I can get right now if I wanted, but that it will, will, you you pretty much need to get that during your cleanup. Well, you don't need to, but you go, like, right... You go through that area, because... Ah, uh, how do I explain this? Once you get the school attack, you can travel, like, between the sectors without going, like, to the top sector thing. Ah, uh, releasing the security lock was a bad idea. The X have now affected the other areas. And we're going to sector 4. Sector 3? Nah, it's too lame. We're going to sector 4 first. Yeah, I, I suppose they wanted to, like, ch change it up with you going to Sector 4 instead of Sector 3 after Sector 2, and then you go to Sector 3 after Sector 4, and then you go to Sector s 5 and 6. SAX, enemy with my strongest abilities. Does it have enough reason? No, probably not. It's a killing machine in my current state. I can't face it head on the SAX as me, but only hard as I must stop it before the ruins the potential and threatens the universe. Yes, <laughs> Gee, that, you probably couldn't even understand that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we just go right over here down to Sector 4. And like I said before, I, I could cut these elevator bits out, but they're so slow. There's really... Oh, they're not that... Well, they're not they're so slow. They're not long, that's what I should say. Though there's not really much point. Ah, uh, so yeah, <laughs> this area's a lot bigger according to the scan. This sector is taking more damage than expected. Uh, it's purposeful. Yes, the X have high degrees of intelligence. But I digress. But I digress. <laughs> Sector's home to very long creatures. Blah, blah, blah. Ceres, it is capable of moving at ultra-high speeds. Uh, yeah, so the, the X have infected Ceres, so... We need to go kill that thing. 
Yes, my objective is clear. Uh, yes, there's electrified water, so don't touch that. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> no, I don't need to save. I don't need a recharge. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if like doing those takes up game time or not, but I don't know. I assume it would take up like smallest amount, so I try to avoid to as much as I can. So sector three, um, that area down there, I won't actually touch this time because you come up, you go up through there the second time you come to this sector. Oh yeah, I can actually jump during the ball. That's a, that's what that jump ball was. It's usually called spring ball though. Yeah, we actually don't get another beam upgrade for a while, so... Yeah, I um, won't bother going up there, because you come out there when you go all the way around after defeating the boss. Don't know, wrong button, you silly ninny. Yeah, I, I always tend to forget which one, which um, trigger is the aim diagonally trigger and which is the missile. Well, I know which one's the missile trigger, but when I try to figure out, remember which one's the aim diagonally trigger, I'll usually press the missile trigger. I don't know, you don't have to use the aim diagonal trigger to aim diagonally, you can just like hold like di di diagonally, but if you want to aim without actually moving, you have to use the trigger. So yeah, we come around here and the only point of doing that was to get this energy tank. But I suppose it's worth it since energy tanks are pretty handy and that was actually my fifth one, huh? How the hell did I pick up another two? I have no idea. Oh, well. Alright, oh, that would mean well, there was one before the boss there, and I'm not sure where the other one was. No, I did actually not need to go in there. Silly me. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll finish this sector, so this video will probably go on for a bit. Uh, so, sorry if you have anything better to do. So, 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 uh, now, well, you didn't have, well, not really now, you couldn't come here in the first place. What you need to do to blow up, like, the thing you access that rail is go up there and bomb it. Uh, yes. So, I don't, I, do you need to go up here? Yes, there is actually a secret here, isn't there? Like, right here? Yeah. Huh, cool, good thing I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, like, the game gets pretty trippy when it throws, like, walls that you can just go through instead of non-bombable walls. Like, there's nothing there indicating that you can go through that. What you're supposed to do is bomb this wall and get through here. And come around here, and you spot- well, you can go check out what's over to the left, but you can't go that way until you've got power up from the boss, so... which is up this way. Ah, what? What do you mean missiles can't? That's ridiculous. Can't. Don't step on that blue platform there, because it'll shatter if you do. So, we'll just, yeah, well, we'll just slowly make our way up this thing. Not that I needed to tell you what I was doing. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll save here because I'm a chump, as I previously stated. <laughs> Yeah, when I play Super Metro on the Wii U, I, I always feel like a chump, or a chump, or a stupid person every time I use, like, the, oh, what, what would you call it, save state feature that the Wii U Virtual Console version has, but, yeah, enough of that. So, wall jump up this, because wall jumping's cool, like I said before, and, yeah, the, on the map, it said the boss was there, the boss is, in fact, not there, the boss is, in fact, over here. So we'll make our way in here, and this is probably one of the oddest bosses in the game, because I probably imagine that no two people fight this boss the same way. What I like to do is just like stand here, because what it does, it just like runs around the map like a crazy person, and you can only damage it when it stops like flashing like that. And you've got a, well I suppose shooting a charge beam would be better than a missile. You've got to shoot its face. Yeah, what I, what I used to do during this fight was stand in the water, and I saw someone who, like, held on to the top here, 
but I figured it was better to stand on the platform and take any hits you might get hit by. Ah, come here. Yeah, this boss is quite annoying. You always feel silly when you like miss an obvious shot you could have gotten if you could react faster. Oh, what, the, what was that? Like only three hits or something? That was short. Oh well. Oh well. Not really. Oh well. The boss that annoying. It's good, but it's short. Um. Oh. As much as, much as I'd like to end the video now because of the time. We'll finish this area, yeah. So the speed booster. The speed booster is awesome. <laughs> yeah, you get to use it in this room here. I'm not actually sure if you can go backwards or not. I imagine you wouldn't be able to. Anyway, you need... When a platform looks like that, you need to use the speed booster to blow it up. Which you need, like, a runway. A runway of sorts to get up the speed to do it. So this this is long enough here. So you just run and you start running quicker. And that's speed boost. Now, as you can see, there's a missile right there. There's actually two missiles here, though. There's one there, as you saw, and there's one right here. And to get to that one, you actually need to come up here and missile through this wall here. Fall down here. Get out of my way and shoot over here. I suppose you didn't really need to do any of that. You could have just wall jump up. No way, you can't because those blocks are blocks you need to. And that's just the save, so I won't bother with that. Those blocks can only be broken by um, falling on top of them, so you, there's no way to get through that, even with every power up in the game. Now, what, what we need to do now really is exit back out, but we can't because. We can't go back the way we came because it's too high up to bomb that high and get back through. So we can go through the bottom using the speed booster, but well, I don't even go up there. We can't speed boost through the water because we move too slow in the water. So we need to lower the water. So to do that, we come over here and there's actually a button thing. A thing, yes. Everything's a thing. Button thing that we can stand on to lower the water. And you need speed booster to speed boost that wall. Water level lowered. But I would want to come this way anyway because there's actually a missile pack like right there that you really can't miss unless you're... Well, I suppose you don't really need to go this way, it's just you would because you think you can go like this way. If it was your first time you'd go like this way because you think you can go this way because the water's lowering here but there's really nothing here, this leads like kind of below here. And you need to break your way back through the floor. So anyway, now that we've lowered the water, we can get back to the navigation room by going down here. And we can speed boost through that wall there. And I'll... Yes, um, so anyone who's played a Metroid game probably knows about the Shine Spark, which is done by pressing down while you got a speed booster, pressing A, and then holding down the direction you want to go in, and you'll like, shoot yourself in that direction. You actually, you actually do need to do that to access a few secret things. Oh, get out, oh, what, who put that there? Pfft, boo. I actually kind of forgot that was there. So yeah, anyway, we come speed booster through here and shine spark through the door, so we kill that right there. But yeah, it turns into that one. So that's pretty much all. So now, now we're done with this area for now. So let's we'll go back to the navigation room and and I don't need to recharge, so I'm not gonna bother with that. But we're up to like I don't know. My timer says 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. So. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.